A very brief clip just to uh, demonstrate how driving conditions can change. We're going through a village, we're doing 30. And uh, I just want to show you how you should always be alive to what's going on around you. Sometimes it can be very deceptive. You, you, you kind of start relaxing, you think things are very, very simple, and actually they're far from it. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to, put this roundabout up ahead, we're going to turn right. This roundabout up ahead is extremely hazardous. What we've got is we've got um, uh, a road to our uh, the, the road to our right. The exit we're going to take is um, a fairly fast-moving road, but it's a very busy road. So consequently, you know, when you're in this roundabout, coming trying to get onto this uh, trying to get onto this road on, on the third exit right, um, you do have a lot of traffic coming from your right-hand side. And that's why we've got a little bit of a hold up, a little bit of a delay here. So what I want to show you is that there we are. We were just doing 30 in a little in a village and it was all nice and quiet. And not too much going on. And then you come around here, <clears throat> take the third exit on the right, and here we go. The road opens up. And look at that. Now then, everything changes somewhat. You've got all of that traffic there on the right. Um, Travelling very slowly. You notice what the council have done in the middle of the road there, with that, with that, uh, that's hatching there. So we've got the road has been artificially narrowed. Now, why would the council do that? Have a look at the traffic on the right-hand side here. See what it's beginning to do. So the the, the slower-moving traffic on the left-hand side is sometimes being overtaken by traffic on the right-hand side. So I just want to show you. You could you could be driving on this road and you think everything's well and dandy, and no problems at all. Unbeknown to you, behind you may be a car that is just itching to overtake you. So look, I could change my position and I could drive here, couldn't I? And if a car did I want to overtake me, he's now got to do quite a dangerous manoeuvre. If I move myself over just a couple of feet, as I have done there, it would make an overtake that much simpler. I'm not encouraging somebody to overtake me. I don't want them to overtake me, not as the council. But... As we know, we've got to be able to accommodate bad drivers. And um, if somebody's itching to overtake you, the sooner you can see that person and anticipate what he or she's going to do behind you, the better, really. The sooner you can see that they, oh right, this person's in a rush and wants to wants to crack on, the better. So why why not accommodate that and just move it over? It might s stop a head-on. Your actions might prevent a head-on. A head-on just by positioning yourself over slightly to the left, just like this look. Now the guy behind me is actually quite a nice distance behind me, I'm not expecting him to overtake me. But just keep switched on is basically what I'm trying to say to you. Keep stay switched on. Sometimes these roads, they look like they're very, not much is, can possibly go wrong. You know, famous last words, what could possibly go, well look, you can see from the, the skid marks and that on this road what can go wrong. I don't know if that came out on the camera, but yeah, there were massive skid marks there. And this is what can go wrong. People want to go for the overtake. Despite what the council have put in the middle of the road there to try and narrow the road, they want to do it. We've got to be aware of these things. That's why we do all these regular um, mirror checks to update ourselves on what's going on behind us. Very, very important. 